In a world challenged by forces of nature and rapid human growth, some may say size does matter. Well, for this mighty group of small, hardworking individuals, size is the least of their worries. They can impact the world as easy as humans do. Welcome to the world of bees. Bees have a crucial impact on a lot of the food that we consume. They pollinate one out of every three bites that we take. The pollination process is pretty simple. First, the bee lands on a flower in search of nectar, while not intentionally collecting pollen on its hairs. The bees move from flower to flower collecting nectar to make honey. Upon landing on each flower, they drop off some pollen and collect more, which allows seeds to be fertilized to create more flowers and fruits. I would be managing the colonies. I'd go look at a colony of bees, come back two or three weeks later and every bee in the hive is gone. Okay, hi, I'm Warren Underwood and uh, I'm an amateur beekeeper. My grandfather actually bought a beehive when I was young. That got me interested. Then in the seventh grade I had to do a, a report. So we did a report on bees and not too long after that I uh, saw an ad in the paper somebody had some bees for sale. So. I bought the three beehives and I've kept them on and off since uh, I was, what, 13? Uh, well, as a beekeeper, you're more of a bee manager. You have um, your colonies, um, a group of colonies called an apiary. And so you go out there and you manage your bees. You know, you go out there and you check on them, make sure they're thriving. Uh, during the early spring, after the winter, you can start to feed the bees. You know, make sure that they're, the queens are laying eggs and the colonies are thriving. Um, so, you're, you're a bee manager. They do all the work. It seems like every year I seem lose at least one colony, sometimes two colonies of bees. Uh, and this has only happened within the last, say, eight, ten years. Uh, research has attributed it to uh, different kinds of pesticides. They think the bees are picking up the pesticides in the field. Um, and bringing it back to the colony and after a prolonged exposure it kills them, but they're still not sure. So who are we to blame for the bees dying? Research has shown that pesticides are the number one reason why bees are dying. Yet this still doesn't explain why entire colonies disappear entirely overnight. Could these pesticides, known as neonicotinoids, really be the cause of the mysterious colony collapse disorder? Neonicotinoids came into use around 10 years ago, which subsequently lines up with the beginning of bees' disappearance. These pesticides are widely popular in the U.S. because they kill insects that are harmful to crops at a cheap cost. However, they don't just kill harmful insects, they also kill bees. It matters a lot because all of our food is pollinated by bees. Uh, we wouldn't have any flowers or any food production without bees. In the U.S., bees pollinate 15 billion dollars worth of crops. In California alone, bees are responsible for the almond business, which is worth 6.5 billion dollars. Not only would the way we eat change if bees were to go away completely, but the economic loss would be huge. Europe banned neonicotinoids nearly three years ago, so what are we waiting for? The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has to step up in order to save the bees. When they looked into the pesticides back in 2009, what they found was so dire that the EPA claimed they may restrict or limit the use of the chemical by the end of this year. However, changes they claim they will make rarely happen. This is, you know, there's a whole field of study in bees. Um, you know, we've really just touched on the very surface of uh, keeping bees. Unfortunately, there is not much we can do to stop bee deaths, but we can stay informed. Create a garden in your yard, or even take up beekeeping. If we all stand together and demand change, then maybe, just maybe, it will happen. The sting from a honeybee is nothing in comparison to the sting that we will feel as a whole if they were to go extinct. The next time you take a bite into an apple or put your fork into a salad, think about the important role bees play in our society. And now, the segment we like to call, these buns are the bee's knees. What do you call a wasp? What? what? A wannabe. 
What did the sushi say to the bee? What? Wasabi. <laughs> what do you call a bee that eats a lot? What? 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 Chubby. <laughs> what do you call a boring bee? What? A buzzkill. What did Peter Pan say to the lost bees? What? what? You just gotta believe. <laughs> what did the bee parents say to their kids? What? You guys better beehive. No pun intended. They might deal me some dope, but then crime don't pay. Black man trying to break in my house again. Thought he got off the dope doing time in the pen. Even though my brothers do me just like that, I get a lot of love, so I'm giving it back to the girl.